Hi folks, it's Peter. I'm here to talk about our T5 timer in a different mode. This is a custom timer. It's got this uh, receptacle in the front, which isn't standard. Normally there would be a uh, piggyback plug, but anyway, I'm going to show you the proximity switch sensing mode. So looking at the uh, mode chart, the proximity sensing, proximity switch can be used in mode 3, or 8, which I'll get to in another video, but for right now we're going to show you mode 3. So uh, the dip switches are uh, right, left, <clears throat> right, right. So if we look inside, <clears throat> we can see um, switches, mode 3 is right, left, right, right. The top switch, number 1, we don't count. That's for minutes and seconds, so it's right, left, right, right. So it's set to the right mode. So we're going to show you what it does, <clears throat> and we're going to trigger the cycle by uh, putting some metal in front of the proximity switch. This one has a 40, or excuse me, 30 millimeter range, so, uh, and dirt does not affect it. So we're going to sense the mounting nuts through the bag here. So uh, you can see that the green light indicates that it's counting down. And there's an early warning mode as well, right there at five seconds, which I'll show you how to set. And at the end of the cycle, of course, it alarms. <clears throat> and the only way to stop it is by removing the uh, rack out from the tank, like so. So uh, I'll show you how to set the, the different modes. It's pretty simple. The, uh, the time setting mode is simply, uh, um, you know, up, down, there's one minute, two minutes, and so on. And uh, to set the um, early warning, which is the the yellow light, it's uh, all, hold all three buttons for five seconds, and then you'll see it flash, which tells you you're entering the programming mode. So we'll change it from seven seconds down to uh, five seconds. Leave the buttons alone again, and it'll flash to let you know that it's registered the time. And now it's all set, so we'll uh, try another cycle. In this mode, the, the front button doesn't do anything. So here we'll sense it again. And this time we'll, we'll wait for until five seconds before we get any kind of alarm. There's the early warning. That calls the operator over to the station. And end of cycle is, uh, we'll break the contact and that's the end of the cycle. Hope this helps. See you next time.